Uh, this will be for the family, and the one in my pantry is for the staff, or more precisely, me. We don't normally provide two. Then perhaps we should find another supplier. Oh, hold your horses. Right. Where do you see this other telephone? Here, in the outer hall. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Carson. Is Lady Edith in? I am. I most certainly am. Oh, I was just driving past. Yes. And I thought you might like to come for a spin, if you're not too busy. Wait till I get my coat. Is it all right if I make some notes? I'm so sorry, Mr... Uh, this is Mr Bromwich, my lady. He's here about the telephone. Oh, please make your notes to Mr Bromwich. We're so looking forward to it. What an exciting business to be in. You must be expanding every day. Oh, we are, sir. But uh, that brings its problems. Training up men for the work when many have no aptitude. <laughs> I can't even find a secretary who can keep pace at the moment. What? But it's hard with a new concept. Too old, they can't change. Too young and they've no experience. But have you filled the post yet? Because I know just the woman. Well, she must hurry up. We'll uh, close the list tomorrow night. You'll have her application, I promise. Who do you call? No one you know has got one. Well, they will have. We'll see. Might I inquire why my pantry has become a common room? Sorry, Mr. Carson. But do you know how it works? Of course I do. Will you show us? Certainly not. A telephone is not a toy, but a useful and valuable tool. Now, get back to your work. This is Downton Abbey. Carson the butler speaking. <clears throat> Hello. This is Mr. Carson the butler of Downton Abbey. To whom am I speaking? There's no I'm not shouting. Well, who are you? Gaunt. Ah, Mrs. Gaunt. No, I don't want to place a call. I was practising my answer. Well, I dare say a lot of the things you do sound stupid to other people. 